Hello friends, welcome to this video on the steady flow energy process. We know that uh, for a closed system, the first law is written as Q is equal to del U plus W. We have seen this in the past few videos. In this video, we will try to derive the first law for an open system. So before going into this derivation, let us try to understand uh, a very interesting concept called money balance. It will help you to understand this derivation uh, very easily. Suppose this is your bank account and you are earning around 50,000 per month. This is your income out of which you are saving say 20,000 per month. So um, what will be left 30,000 will be left for expense. So if I have to express this uh, thing uh, in mathematically, I can write it as I is equal to S plus E that is income is equal to savings plus uh, exp expense. Now in the second case, suppose you are not making any kind of savings, your savings is zero, what, whatever you are earning, you are expend, uh, exp your expenditure is exactly same. Then in this case, uh, this equation will be very straightforward, I is equal to E. So once you have understood this, now we will move forward to the derivation. Okay. Suppose uh, for a steady flow, what is the concept of mass balance? Suppose I have a system, open system, where there are two inlets. Okay. And from these two inlets, uh, some amount of uh, fluid is flowing. So mass flow rate will come into picture. Uh, let, let this be M1 and M2. From the outlet, the M3 that is coming, if it is a steady flow, then exactly the mass flow rate at the inlet and the outlet has to be the same if there is no mass storage inside the system. Okay. So one more concept you need to understand before going into the derivation is the flow work. So what is flow work? Suppose uh, uh, what you are seeing in, in the screen, let it be a pipe and I have some fluid in it. So if I apply a force, if I apply a force of F Newton and push this uh, volume of fluid in, a, in the forward direction and let it be displaced by a small distance L. And a, if A is the area of the piston, then mathematically what will be the work done? Work done will be uh, force into the displacement, displacement of the fluid. So force is nothing but in terms of pressure, I can write uh, pressure into area, okay, into L. Then area into length becomes volume we know. So this is uh, what we have derived. Work done uh, can be written as pressure into uh, the volume. Okay. Now we will start the derivation. Let me uh, suppose that I have a control volume that is an open system, which, uh, which has inlet and outlet at Z1 and Z2 elevation. Okay. Let dm1 by dt be the mass flow rate through the inlet and, and the system stores some amount of mass uh, at the rate of dmcv uh, by dt and uh, dm2 by dt yeah, is is the amount of uh, uh, is the mass flow rate coming out of the system so i can write uh, it mathematically as dm1 uh, by dt can be written as uh, ddt of m2 plus ddt of mcv okay so now along with the ma flow of mass energy will also flow in and out of the system where there is mass, there has to be some energy. Now this energy will be the sum total of an internal energy, kinetic energy, potential energy and flow work. The flow work that we have uh, learned just few minutes back. So all summation of all this will form the energy. So if I express all these things mathematically and internal energy can be expressed in terms of U, kinetic energy half mb square, uh, potential energy m into g into the elevation plus flow work p into v now if i have to express uh, this equation uh, per unit mass then i i will divide this uh, entire thing by mass so uh, the mm will go and uh, we will be left out with uh, u plus half uh, v square plus gz plus p into small v now please see that uh, small v is specific volume volume divided by mass okay Next, 
energy coming in the system along with the mass is d ddt of M, m1 into e1 okay this much amount of energy will flow into the system so uh, uh, then let energy going out of the system with the mass is ddt of m2 into e2 e2 is the energy that is going out into the pro uh, mass flow rate now if dq by dt is the heat entering the system per unit time that is uh, you can consider it as an input suppose i have given some amount of heat um, uh, per unit time and if the system after taking this heat does some amount of work at the rate of ddt uh, in um, dw by dt let it be output then summarizing all these things i can uh, write the equation as ddt of m1 into e1 plus dq by dt this is the inlet this is these two terms will uh, constitute the inlet can be written as d dt of m2 into e2 okay uh, plus dw by dt plus ddt of e uh, ecv ecv is the energy stored in the control volume okay now during a steady state what happens is ddt of m1 is equal to ddt of m2 so let it be uh, uh, D, uh, ddt of m okay and in a steady state i have already told you that uh, nothing will be stored so rate of change of um, the the energy in the con uh, st um, in, in the control volume and rate of change of mass in the control volume will be zero okay now uh, this equation will become simplified so uh, ddt of m into e1 plus D dq by dt will be ddt of m into e2 plus dw by dt now if i expand it uh, i am expanding uh, the value of uh, e1 and e2 e1 already we have uh, discussed in the uh, pre uh, just a few minutes back so if I, after expanding if i divide everything with respect to uh, I, I mean if i divide everything by dm by dt then i will reach this equation okay i will reach the equation e1 plus v1 square by 2 plus gz1 plus v1 into p1 plus dq by dm and uh, on the right hand side you will see what uh, whatever is coming in the screen you will find you will get this now we have a term called enthalpy enthalpy is nothing but the summation of flow work plus the internal energy so in this equation we will uh, we will try to um, reduce this equation so wherever that is uh, wherever you will find the summation of internal energy and the flow work you, you will uh, substitute it with enthalpy so this equation has become more simplified you see u1 plus p1 v1 i have replaced it by h1 and u2 on the right side u2 plus p2 v2 i have replaced it by uh, h2 remaining everything is same now if uh, if i bring dq by dm uh, minus uh, if, if i bring this dw by dm on the left hand side so um, by rearranging the equation i will get the equation number 2 okay now see in this equation uh, in the equation number 2 there are uh, potential energy and kinetic energy terms now uh, if the changes in kinetic energy and potential energies are small that means uh, if uh, in between the inlet and outlet if there are no um, or negligible changes in kinetic energy and potential energy then i can reduce the, those terms so if i reduce those and those terms i will reach a very simplified equation which is expressed in equation number 3 dq by dm minus dw by dm can be written as the difference of enthalpies between the outlet and the inlet so this is uh, the derivation now we will try to see how this this is applic applicable in, applicable in real life in some steady flow and uh, engineering devices so the first one is compressor so what uh, what is compressor in compressor air comes at low pressure and temperature and the compressor compresses this air to high pressure and high temperature this this is the uh, function of compressor so in compressor usually uh, this term just look at the term uh, uh, just look at the equation 3 uh, here one term is dq by dm so in 
compressor the uh, so small changes in um, heat transfer will be uh, uh, can be neglected because usually the compressors are insulated okay so if if dq by dm becomes zero we will be left with dw by dm which which is equal to uh, h2 minus h1 now as uh, h2 is greater than h1 in case of compressor why h2 is greater than h1 is because uh, h is nothing but it is the uh, in u plus pv it is the summation of internal energy and flow energy and p2 is much greater than p1 because in a compressor uh, we are trying to compress the gas so at, le at the outlet the pressure will be very high so finally if you uh, do this uh, cal this kind of calculations dw by dm will come as negative okay so this is for compressor it implies that work has to be done on the compressor to run it okay work has, has to be done on the compressor to uh, run it now the second device is the turbine in turbine also uh, the term dq by dm will be zero since uh, we assume the turbine to be perfectly insulated so we, we will be left out with dw by dm is equal to h1 minus h2 but uh, in, in turbine enthalpy at the outlet is generally uh, small than uh, as compared to the inlet it is because a turbine is a device which is used to extract energy from the flowing fluid and to convert this energy into the mechanical en energy in the form of shaft work and while uh, extracting uh, the energy from the fluid the enthalpy of the total system drops okay so h1 will be greater than h2 so uh, dw by dm will be positive that means uh, turbine produce produces work fine next uh, the last one uh, nozzles and diffusers so in nozzles and diffusers uh, uh, we will again consider dq by dm to be zero because in nozzle uh, the fluid flows at a at a very f uh, high speed so uh, during the that time that period the fluid will not get sufficient time to interact with the surrounding so usually there is no heat transfer uh, in uh, nozzle and a diffuser and since there are no work producing uh, elements inside the no nozzles and diffusers so D dw by dm is also considered as zero then one more term z1 uh, that is the elevation nozzles and diffusers uh, have uh, the inlet and outlet uh, um, almost at the same height so z1 is also considered equal to be z2 so now simplifying uh, uh, and omitting everything we get h2 plus v2 square by 2 is equal to h1 plus v1 square by 2 now since in nozzles uh, v v1 is very small as compared to v2 because the purpose of nozzle is to increase the velocity of the uh, st uh, stream of fluid at the outlet so v2 will be very high as compared to v1 so i can neglect v1 so uh, neglecting v1 uh, the equation becomes h2 plus v2 square by 2 is equal to h1 so v2 is uh, can then can be written as root over 2 into h1 minus h2 okay so this was all about uh, the, the steady flow uh, energy um, devices for more such videos and uh, to to get the numericals uh, from this topic continue watching macvidia thank you